there YouTube, this is the Magnus bringing you another Total War Warhammer online ladder battle. Uh, today my opponent chose the Vampire Counts and I decided to bring those Warriors of Chaos uh, yet again. Uh, very different build this time though. I have two Forsaken, two Chaos Warriors with Halberds, four Chaos Warriors with Great Weapons, two Giants, and Coalex Sun Eater. So a pretty small but tight composition on my part. And I just have the infantry up front, Howard's out on the flanks, and I've got the Giants on the wings here in the second row, and Colex Sun Eater dead center and ready to get nasty. Uh, my opponent hid in the woods a White King and one unit of Blood Knights. And then for his main army, he has four Skeleton Warriors. He has one of the Karn Wraiths. He has one, two, three Grave Guard with Great Weapons, three Crypt Horrors, and Vlad von Karstein uh, as his leader. Uh, Alpine Ridge, always an interesting map. Gonna just push up and try to get on top of the hill. And uh, I, I can't see what he's doing, but he elects to do the same. Now I went with this composition because I don't need any shields because the vampires don't have missiles. So I went with aggressive infantry. The giants, because again, they don't have missiles and they have a hard time dealing with that. And the same reason for Colex Sun Eater, his, his biggest weakness is missiles, and they don't have them, so might as well uh, rock some Colex nastiness. So we both are working our way up the ridge, and he has brought out his cavalry over here, but I'm not able to see them at this point. You can see the little eyeball icons on all of my guys, which means he can't see them. And then we're going to start to crest, crest the hill here, <clears throat> and right now we can see each other. So I immediately issue a full frontal attack here uh, thinking that you know if I try to get too cute move things around I'm probably gonna pay for that so we're just gonna go ahead and let the infantry lines slam into each other Kolak gets right into the back starts working on some crypt horrors now the, the big thing I'm focused on here is getting as much out of Kolak as I can this battle without uh, without getting him killed, which is easier said than done. And you're going to see right out the gate here, Vlad really puts a number on him. And he, he uses his master Gallement to stop me from doing much damage to him. So I try to pull him away from them. But right out the gate, down about half health. Of course, he's going to call down the storm. Does some great damage to these skeleton warriors. Try and help out my infantry line. Uh, the giant here looks like he's taking a nap, not sure why he's not attacking, but sometimes with these one unit models you'll get things like that happening, it's just kind of the price you pay I suppose. Uh, you can see there's some crumbling going on in these, uh, uh, in these units over here, facing off against the giant, it will have that effect, and you can see my opponent's getting ready to work his cav around. Uh, Kolek, uh, I just keep moving him around to avoid anybody being able to get sustained DPS on him uh, as he's already lost so much health and to keep him getting as many charges as possible because he does a lot of damage on the charge. You're just going to see a whole lot of bad things fighting it out here. Uh, chaos being similar to evil although it's a little different than that and of course the vampires having their wonderful reputation. Now we're going to see two very distinct things occurring here. On this side, I am outnumbered and not doing as well. Though the Chaos Giant, he's not been able to put any considerable amount of damage on. And on the other side, uh, I'm much stronger. Um, I just have more units, I have better guys. And I'm going to try to work on Vlad von Karstein here because the vampires, of course, are very dependent on their leadership. So we're, we're working out his uh, little henchmen over here. Most of them, or all of them, are just about dead, with the exception of this Cryptor group here. Uh, on the other side, everything I have is routed except for the giant, who's still trying to tee off <laughs> on people there. Meanwhile, on this side, I'm pulling back Kolek. He got a little, little hurt there, so I'm just going to do a little dance with him, try to get him back into combat somewhere where he's going to be less threatened. So, for example, working on these guys on the edge, they're the only thing that can swing at him, and he takes care of them real quickly. So now he's able to pull over the Blood Knights from the other side to this side, which is definitely going to swing things in his favor. If you look at the balance bar, it's red between the 
cross swords, so things are definitely, uh, un unfortunately and definitely falling into his favor. Uh, but I'm not giving up. I'm doing everything I can to bring back any routed units when they come come back. I'm, again, I'm working collect, trying to shoot angles by hitting guys on the edge of the pal. And more importantly, I'm really going after Vlad von Karstein, who uh, just cast the indication on the heck. But I think he's tapped out. Yes, he is as far as healing. Uh, so he, he gets out of the, the view of my guys for just a second. Uh, giants and things like this. They have a tendency to, after they knock somebody over, like Vlad von Karstein, then they'll just automatically choose another target. So you have to retarget them like I did with Kolek there. And that way you get them swinging at, at who and what you want them swinging at. So I'm very close to taking out Vlad, and boom, Vlad goes down. Uh, it still shows things slightly in his favor, but I at least feel like I have a fighting chance now. So over here, my giant is fled. I have nothing left. I have some men coming back. Chaos Warriors with Halberds. I've got Chaos Warriors with great weapons recovering here and here, and then these these guys are still fleeing. Now, Kolek is, is still in here working, and he's going to bring over the White King, which is um, which is my primary concern right now, because he is the last of the leadership units for the Vampires. So we've got the Giant working on him, uh, as well as getting some good hits in on uh, what was left of the Cryptors there. They're gone. Uh, up here, my great weapons are just trying to hold off the Blood Knights to keep them from getting back in. Uh, you can see my my men are trying to return to the fight, and we're down to a minute, and it's going to be decided. You can see now things have swung back into my favor uh, for the first time in quite some time, and we're really putting the work on this White King. Now he's used everything he can: two potions, deadly onslaught, foe seeker, but he's maxed out on regen. Uh, and he's got a giant and a dragon ogre working on him here, and uh, specifically Kolek Sun Eater. And look at his health, it's just, just going down here with every swing, and boom, he's done. So once he goes down, things are heavily in my favor, all of his units start to crumble at an accelerated rate, <clears throat> and we will have snatched victory from the jaws of defeat from the nasty vampires and mostly on the shoulders the large shoulders of those three gentlemen right there so let's take a look at how things went and played out you can see this forsaken unit did extremely well uh, probably fighting skeleton warriors but still not bad the great weapon chaos warriors did well uh, one of the halberds really killed it one of the giants did really well the other one didn't have as many kills but got two chevrons which means it killed very high value targets and uh, that is always a good thing. And Kolek Sun Eater had 92 kills, so I was very pleased uh, with his performance. Uh, it was definitely scary there in the beginning when he took a lot of damage, uh, but we were able to micro him uh, to a much better battle than it looked like he was going to have. Uh, taking a look at my opponent's army, uh, the Grave Guard with great weapons are, of course, a great choice against the Warriors of Chaos because of our high armor. And they did not disappoint, uh, especially this one. These did not do as well. But considering how small my army is, it's not bad kills. Uh, the Blood Knights were definitely the star of the show on his side, along with the Grave Guard with great weapons. But in the end, it was not enough to overcome chaos. Uh, let me know what you think about this composition. I've kind of struggled to come up with what I thought would be really good against the vampire counts as far as chaos. Uh, but I like this because I know they struggle with the Giants, and with Kolak, you're basically getting another Giant on the field uh, as far as damage potential and difficulty in killing. But I I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Uh, until the next time, this is the Magnus. Thanks, and we'll see you real soon.